Hey, Peaches! Oh, welcome to Preview to Where Friends. Don't let friends watch television alone. I'm Adam. And I'm Jay. And today we're going to react, review, or if and at the end we're going to re episode five, si five of season one of X-Men 97, 97. Um, this episode came out about 36 hours ago and since it dropped, you know, like Wednesday, or no, uh, Tuesday night or whatever, uh, everyone has been saying, uh, uh, um, uh, guys, uh, X-Men episode yeah. seven, guys, what's X-Men? X-Men 5? X-Men hey, episode hey 5, guys? Hey, uh, ha, ha, ha. Something apparently crazy happens in this episode. Crazy things have happened in the previous episodes. Yeah. But something not special the, seems to, happening here. Not that it has driven this many people to comment on other videos that are completely X-Men unrelated. And mm -hmm. be like, hey guys, what is it? X-Men? Where is that coming? Uh, I will say, if you're the type of person that will like, like, likes to leave those messages on comments for other videos, may I suggest join the Discord? That's oh, a place yeah. where you can leave comments like that, and we'll actually see them. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I yeah. mean, like, oh, I do check the comments, like, I see oh, yeah. this. But, like, if you'd like to, you know, you know, enter the conversation, if you will, join the Discord. Discord the best place, place to be. Yeah. Link's down below. Mm -hmm. Click it or don't. Not your mom. Good pitch, Jay. Yeah, but also if you'd like to click Patreon too. Oh my God, what? It's where we double keep, pitch. Uh, double it's pitch. It's where we keep the the full shebang, the whole watch alongs, all of them, literally all we've ever done, all the burps, farts, not interesting parts that we edit out. If you want to check that out, click that too, or don't. Okay. I'm not forcing you. He's trying to. He's not I'm forcing not. you. Okay. He's not. I don't know if this is a continuation of Storm Story from last week, but we'll see what happens next. Here we go. Look at my lips. Phoenix. Morlocks. Nightcrawler. Heck With yeah. swords. Is it, is it interesting or weird that I mean, I know they're, it's the old intro, but, like, to have Magneto on the roster and then also at the end as an antagonist. Huh. I think it's kind of fun. Yeah. Well, I am just as flattered to be sitting with a renowned scientist such as yourself, Dr. McCoy. <laughs> How's he blushing through his How is blue? he blushing? He's, re he's really blushing. He's really <laughs> blushing. A school for mutants founded by the late Professor Charles Xavier. Where'd Iceman go? People who have fallen through the cracks, forgotten, desperate to belong. And they're all apparently really hot. This Everyone's really UN hot here. I don't know if you figured that out yet. <laughs> the mutant nation of Genosha. Oh. You are the only soul on board for whom gravity would most certainly be an issue. <sighs> Can it, you roosters? Look ahead. Is that a clever way of calling them? All right. <laughs> They're cockfighting, is that what you're saying? <laughs> yes, Jay. Yeah. Wow. Laser vision oh, eye care. <laughs> can we, can, man. Is that pixie? Yes, yes it is. <laughs> Get bonked. Wow. That's some, some of the new X-Men, right? From the... Yeah. They got a monorail? Monorail? Wow. Magneto is right. <laughs> when we heard Madeline Pryor scored a top spot among Genosha's brass, the interim council wanted an X-Man. Luckily, you guys could spare a gene. <laughs> Two always better than one, and far better than three. <laughs> The Master of Magnetism was surprised to receive an invite bearing the United Nations seal. Yeah, I hear it's called the future. 
<laughs> also, can you stop referring to yourself in the third person as the master of magnetism? It's yeah, he's the master of magnet, Jay. Bird on a live wire. Hey! Kurt. Kurt Wagner, how the heck are you? Kurt joined the council to help work with Genosha's various communities of faith. Makes sense. As long as he left those faithful killer monks of his back at the monastery. Mm hmm. Come! That. Dude, that Banff is doing things. Ooh, yeah. woo, woo. Daddy's charging pretty high rent. Versing a nation overnight is not without its share of stumbles. Ten dollars for an apple. We don't know the exchange rate. We don't. Hey! Hey, yeah. the Bumble Man! Yeah! Woo! What's up, Jamie? Yeah! Yeah! I don't know. I don't know who she is. Dazzler! Here's our girl. Get him! Boom Boom? Right? It does not take a priest to see you on both souls. Touch in every gaze. <laughs> Ain't the touch she be looking for. Oh, more to me. We too busy for love. Too busy sinning. There is no love without sin. For love is best measured in what we forgive. Welcome back, Nightcrawler. We missed you. Well, if being an X-Man teaches anything, Miss Tilby, it's to expect the unexpected. <sighs> oh, boy, Scott. The, the lights. Can you take them off? I can't. I'd kill you all. I like I kill all of you. I remember so many things. So many with Scott. The two lovebirds still ain't talking. He's grieving his son. I wanted to show her that nothing had changed. She was still the hothead who knocked my books out of my hand when I ran into her on the first day of school. And we could see each other's eyes. They anchored me. Focused me. You like these shots? Because it caused him to have his lips. Yeah. Get a rib shot. <laughs> Forget how many sunrises your eyes have seen. I only ever seen one of you, Red. Except for the time there was two of you, which is pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty awesome. <laughs> oh! Oh! Logan. That's not cool. Now go talk to that overgrown boy scout. Uh-oh. That's not cool. Uh-oh. <laughs> no. No. No, it's not cool. Gene and I don't have any kids. You don't? No. Oh. Uh, I spoke to a Dr. Bryans there. He said you told your teammate to hold Rogue. That jerk wouldn't deliver my... He called my kid a freak. I lie because the truth is we're nothing like you. Thank God, because it's the only reason you people are still alive. He's Scott right, though. Summers is right. Oh, crap. With even the most overlooked of us finally getting Oh, Banshee. Hey, bud. We need to be thinking That's about more, how to speak right? loudly. Yeah, I think so. We need a handsome jawline that begs trust there she is. and respect. A poster child king. Careful, Miss Frost. I, I am a... <laughs> <laughs> but Charles be gone, Magneto. And I may not like it. But if Charles trusts you with his X-Men, he trusts you with this. He did that smile of his, that annoying secret smile. Magneto, any dream worth having is a dream worth dying for. You shall have me. On one condition. I ought to knock you from here to the North Pole. <laughs> you think making me your queen? An X-Man whose touch allows her to feel anyone's pain. A true leader. An empathetic one. As with Gambit, loving you makes broken men whole so that even as you deny us, our heartache is not in vain. <laughs> The show, the show, so intense, man. Describe him to me. Describe Nathan. I can't see color, but up here, I see these big brown eyes and this wild oh, rust-colored cool. hair. And he's okay. 
He's Cable. I know. He's okay. He's just not with his, his dad. He's not with his dad. Don't tell okay. me. Okay. You can explain. If you'll excuse us, Madeline. I'm sorry. What again? Something wrong, Miss Pryor? Mine just drifted a moment. Mine drift indeed. How long has it been happening? Uh. A month, maybe. I, I was checking in after she moved overseas, but we ended They're doing with Madeline what he did with <laughs> Emma in the comics. Yeah. Telepathically, like, cheating on her. Do you love her? I... Love, love you? Both of you. Yeah, because it's... Sinister cuts out a part of me and you love it? That wasn't love in there. It's ego. Do you love me, Jean? Or am I just a lovely memory? What? Jean, what is it? Mind bullets! <laughs> <laughs> it's teleportation, Holmes. There wasn't enough room in our affair for his demons and, and mine. That's her old comic outfit. Yep. He acted like it never happened. We both did. You gonna accept his offer? <sighs> Telling Gambit the dang truth. I can't touch you, Remy. Your heart may beat for me, but I can't feel it. You light up everything you touch, but never me. <sighs> we be friends, mon ami. Just friends. <sighs> Damn. Yeah, dude. This yeah, show <laughs> is serious. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, it's like Disney's, like the Marvel, Marvel's getting X-Men back and they're not wasting any time. <laughs> you know what I mean? Good Lord. The extent to which this, car this cartoon is not effing around is like kind of incredible. Most other nations don't allow a terrorist to be their leader. Yet so many allow their leaders to be terrorists. Hi, uh, Rogue. Rogue. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Man. Oh, bud. Wait, this is an actual this song. This is song. an actual song. This is Ace of Base, baby. Yes, it is. This shit rules, dude. This is, a, and from the yeah. 90s. This is, yes. yeah, Ace of, yes, this, this is. This is like right in the sweet spot. Yo, mind bullets! <laughs> it's telekinesis, Holmes. Turn it off. The music. Get everybody out. Yes! He hath arrived! You have to get everyone out. Now! Coming. Who's coming? Cable, hey, what's going on? Body slide. One. No. no. You made it. You survived. I'm so sorry, Mom. Is that Master Mold? He alive. So are you. Gambit. How many? Too many. You go at it, you end up dead. Can't even dent it. We're trying to evacuate folks now, but the Morlocks, they... They stuck in the bay. Holy crap! What?
We shall not live our days wondering if we could have saved more. Yeah, man, get pwned. <laughs> yeah. yeah, get him. <laughs> oh, my God. Open up, here comes the choo-choo. Using the subway as a whip. Cute. Uh. <laughs> I'm sorry. What's up, dudes? I swear to God, Gambit's power is just being the most 90s cool. Let's <laughs> <laughs> just keep coming, man. Don't you dare, Eric! You hear me? He's trying to protect us, Rose! Hab keine Angst. Omega threat eliminated. Trouble. The name's Gambit. One on me. Remember it. Regardless of your stance on recent world events, oh my. the images you are about to see may be disturbing. Nope. Nope. No. Nope. Nope. We're time traveling to fix this. Yeah. This is nope. No no. I no. 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 That's the only thing that brings me any solace to it. Is nope. That you don't sit like Nope. You Sorry. don't sit cable back like that nope. at the beginning of everything going down if you're not planning on fixing nope. it. Like, We're fixing this. Yeah. We're not yeah, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. That was the Coolest fucking thing I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. He charged the whole kaiju. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Like the badass he's been the entire time and has finally let off the hook. No. Nope. Nope. Walls up. I, ref I, I refuse. I'm not playing your game. That was too cool. No. 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 What an incredible episode of television. Oh, we're fixing this. It's X-Men. This gets fixed. We have a whole time-traveling character. Yeah. We're fine. Multiple. of them. Two of them. That went so hard. Yes, it did. That, yes. <sighs> because we had multiple conversations of, like, actual adults talking about relationships and stuff. Yes. Which I did not think we were going to do. And yes. they actually really talked about stuff. Yes. And it's like, oh, 
the re one of the main reasons why X-Men is a lot awesome is because of all the cool action and stuff, but also because of the soap opera. Yeah, it's a soap opera. Also because it's like, which gene do you love? I kind of love you both, but, but also, like, it's, yeah. oh, it's not also, my fault. I'm not doing be, anything wrong. Like, you're being kind of unreasonable being so mad at me because... I'm the first man in history to ever fall in love with the clone of his wife who has all her memories and is basically the same person. Mm -hmm. I love you. You like my clone. It was you. Pretty much. I mean. But it was you. You know? I'm, I'm not cheating. It's you. Yeah. You are now two separate Wild. people. Yes. Wild. But, yeah. <laughs> but putting that. Because that's. Wild. Yeah. That Emma storyline and giving it to Madeline. So she's this thought. Because Madeline Pryor being not a villain. And just like another yes. person out there trying to do good, because she's Jean. It's way more. Interesting. It's way more interesting. Yeah. Everyone's kept saying the shows this episode kicks, but I wasn't expecting. No. I wasn't because it's like that. okay, you know, I she, really this wasn't. Is fun. This is fun. I thought it was, it was like all oh, relationships, be some sweet yeah. and sad moments. Yeah. You know? Okay. <laughs> it's just like no, not a kaiju sentinel. Yeah, yeah. Out of nowhere, <laughs> killing multiple main cast members. But, and murdering. But here's the thing: thousands of mutants. There was a level of there was a level of act. There there was a level of intensity here. It wasn't just what happened. It was how, it was how it was presented mm -hmm. to us. That distilled down to its base parts, the what the oppression that these mutants felt. Mm -hmm. I didn't just they weren't just attacked. Like this was this was hatred. Yes. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. In a way that was very visceral. Well, I mean, th th Scott's outburst at the interview. Yeah, really and, set the tone. And then when Magneto was um, on the rooftop there and flashing back of all the stuff, and then and he had that one flash of if you know, you know what he was flashing to, and it all makes sense because, yeah, he will never let that happen again. And so he goes off, and it's still not enough. Yeah. There's just no way. There's just, there is no way we let this stand. Next episode, we're hanging out with Bishop. We gotta go back to Bishop. We gotta hang out with Bishop. Bishop and Forge of the Future, and and Bishop's friend. I think this might be another uh, uh, Jubilee Bottle episode up next Do you one. think? Yeah, man. Let's just, just do it. Hard. Rad, rad cool stuff? You no, know, I think it's Morph's birthday. We all is it Morph's birthday? Everyone goes yeah. to Dave and Buster's. <laughs> cool, yeah. You know? Yeah. And you can tell everyone's heart's not in, but they're no. doing the best they can. Morph know? keeps morphing into other, you know, yeah, other yeah. Uh, really mutant, trying to... uh, people from other, yeah. Yeah. There's like a C plot about trying to get him the right birthday cake. And sure, he yeah. Just can't, and, you know, mm -hmm. Beast lost the recipe when he's trying to find it. Beast can't keep all of these Tupperware in the, in the shelves. Oh, no. Yeah, the next episode's going to be hilarious, dude. It's going to mm. be so funny. It's going to be the most I funny. Can't yeah. mm -hmm. I can't wait. I can't wait. Hey, Jay, how would you rate episode five of season one of um, X Men This one's getting zero out of zero dead gambits. We're bringing Gambit back. It's not. He's it's, the coolest. It's. The, we all know, you know. He's too cool. We all know how it works. He's just too awesome. Yeah, the Avengers didn't invent that. They yeah. cribbed it from the X Men. Pretty much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If Kitty Pride can come back and like send her mind back to her previous self to Wild. undo Days of Future Past, Wild. then we can do it to save Genosha. Also, Cable's got to get that arm time slippy thing fixed. That, that is, that TARDIS is pulling them out at the wrong moments. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> but you know, it's a tough, it's a tough, uh, it's a tough science. It's a tough science. Uh, how would you guys? rate this episode uh let us know in the comments below but before you do please like subscribe and hit that bell do that youtube that you do so well welcome always extra you you teleporting weirdos you oh the video is popping up right Hi. yeah please watch this we would appreciate it as much as we appreciate you watching this one we'll see you guys soon bye, bye.